Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda. Thank you so much for being a viewer. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Thank you for playing an important role in the massive growth of our channel. To be honest, for me, the growth of the channel is less important than providing honest, ethical, unbiased news and hopefully, hopefully helping our viewers and our subscribers make sense of this craziness that we are living in. I have reported today on all the, the rapid developments in the stimulus package and I'll continue to do that as more news emerges. It seems like we're going to see $600 to $700 stimulus checks with a slight shrinking of the $300 a week benefits that were originally supposed to be four months but are now of where the stimulus negotiations are right now. All your questions such as when am I going to get the stimulus check? Is it approved? Has it been passed yet? What about retroactive pay? All of those questions are going to be answered. Take the time to watch those videos because you will get answers to your frequently asked questions. But in this video, I wanted to talk to you about the fundamental unfairness that exists in our system. And you see this article on your screen from the Washington Post, America's biggest companies are actually flourishing. Yes, they're flourishing during this pandemic and at the same time putting thousands of people out of work. Now I've mentioned this earlier on our channel, individuals in travel, leisure, entertainment and hospitality have been significantly, have been badly impacted as a result of this pandemic. And an analysis by the Washington Post found that 45 out of the top 50 companies in the country, 45 of the top 50 biggest companies in the United States have been making money. They've been turning a profit since March and a majority of them have actually cut staff. In other words, people have lost jobs and given uh, the bulk of their profits to shareholders. As I'm recording this, the US stock market is just at an all time high, the stock market continues to go off, go up. It's been taking a bit of a breather today, but all the dividends that are being paid out to shareholders, all the, all the money that's being plowed into the stock market, raising prices further is only helping individuals who are already wealthy to begin with because most individuals who are, who are essentially in the bottom 50 percentile of the economy. In other words, individuals who are, who make less money relative to others in the top percentile. They don't even own a lot of stocks. So this is telling us that there is a fundamental redistribution of wealth that is actually happening in our economy. So again, you see this article from the Washington Post and it tells us that as the, as the pandemic devastated, devastated small businesses, and again, small businesses have been collateral damage. These are the words of Warren Buffett. As, as an economic war has been waged on our country, again, this is a phrase, economic war is a phrase used by Warren Buffett. So I want to give credit where it's due. As this pandemic devastated small businesses, devastated individuals in travel, leisure, entertainment and hospitality, executives at some of the largest companies in the country uh, were extremely upbeat. According to the PayPal chief, John Rainey, he said on a November conference call just last month, I don't think we've ever been more excited or energized about our prospects. The chief of Nike, John Donahue, told analysts in September, these are times when the strong can get stronger. Incredible. And uh, here's a comment from Jensen Huang, who's the chief executive of the graphics chip maker NVIDIA during an August earnings call. And I'm quoting, with all that's happening around the world, it's really unfortunate, but it's made gaming the largest entertainment medium in the world. In this video, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into this fundamental unfairness, what you should know, and how hopefully you can prepare to be a part of this, uh, this, this growth going forward. Once we can all make our way past past this, this horrific situation we find ourselves in. According to the Washington Post, they contacted all 27 companies that held layoffs this year. And many, according to the Washington Post, many said the cuts were not related to the pandemic, but rather a necessary part of broader, I quote, restructuring plans where basically companies, you know, cut staff, in parts of the business where there's, you know, less profitability and ramp up staff, ramp up staff in other parts of the business that have more profitability. And they said that in some, in some cases, they had made those plans even before the pandemic. Take a look at this chart, which shows you the revenue in 2020 of several companies compared to 2019. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Earlier this year in February through April, they were up 41%. May through July up 39%. August through October were up 57% towards the end of the year. Amazon has been consistently up this year. I mean, we've all been shopping on Amazon. Netflix has been up consistently this year. Facebook has been doing better. Microsoft has been doing better. Google Alphabet, which by the way, had a downturn from April through June, is now starting to do better. You're watching this video on YouTube, which is owned by Google. 
And finally, on your screen, you see the year over year revenue change for the largest US companies. So these have been ranked from biggest revenue increase to biggest loss. Let's start with these different companies. Bristol Myers Squibb, which is a pharmaceutical company. You see how well they're doing up 82%, 61%, 75% over different periods of the year this year compared to 2019 just blows your mind when you think about it nvidia uh, in the semiconductor space and in the chip space amazon abvi which is another company salesforce which we are probably all familiar with which which provides software services to help businesses run themselves netflix tesla paypal Facebook, Thermo Fisher. Take a look at all these companies which are doing significantly better this year compared to last year. Let's scroll down the list so you can get a sense of all the companies that are making more money this year so that their share prices go up, so that they continue paying dividends to their shareholders. Many of them have laid off thousands of people, in some cases, tens of thousands of people. As we scroll down the list, you'll start to see that the chart turns red, which means these companies are now losing money. Let's take a look at the last two rows. Visa, losing money relative to last year. MasterCard, Nike, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Disney, Wells Fargo, Boeing, Exxon Mobil and Chevron. A lot of these companies uh, are losing money right now, but they are expected to return to full profitability next year. So who's reaping the, who's essentially reaping the benefits in all of this? Basically, when these companies announce earning, earnings calls and issue dividends, it's the shareholders that make the money and it's those who own the, those who own the shares of these companies in the stock market that then see the valuation of these companies. In other words, the individuals who own these companies are left uh, with more money because sim they get more dividends and their share price goes up but the workers of these companies are just are just uh, let go so what does all of this mean at the end of the day i'm just going to be straight with you i'm going to give you the truth wherever the truth might lead us and the truth is that unfortunately this is the system the system is rigged it's not your fault. The system is rigged. The system is rigged to run in such a way that what has happened this year has accelerated, has sped up the realignment of wealth in our country. Is this good or is this bad? I'm not going to comment on that. I'm going to let you be the judge. But what I am going to tell you is that what this has done is essentially taught us that we need to be less dependent on the government. We need to become better at making more money, whether it's through your job, whether it's through businesses. We need to become better at saving money, not wasting money on things that don't yield a return. And by the way, you do need to spend money on things that make you happy. That goes without saying, because at the end of the day, money is designed to give us comfort give us some element of security but investing money growing money whether it's being a shareholder in these companies whether it's um, whether it's you know collecting a dividend from companies by the way if you don't believe that you should invest in a company if any of the companies you saw in this video whether it's amazon or apple or walmart or disney or berkshire hathaway if you don't want to buy those shares you don't you think that they're unethical that's fine that's that's a decision you have to make and if you feel that way then, you know, if it's, if, if investing in these companies is not part of your value set, don't do it. I'm not trying to get you to invest in the companies. I'm trying to give you facts. And what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, when you invest in a good company and it pays dividends, that's how you grow. Maybe you can identify companies that you feel comfortable investing in, or maybe you're one of those individuals that recognize this reality and say, you know what? Doesn't matter. It's if, if I'm going to make more money investing in a company that's going to lay off people, that's your decision. I'm simply trying to tell you this. The difference between those who have and those who don't have is that those who have find ways to make more money, save more money and invest more money so it grows. Those who don't have essentially get left behind and get laid off. And that unfortunately is is a sign that our system is rigged and we live in a capitalist economy. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I have, believe it or not, I have a lot of respect for you just to lay it on you and give you the truth. If I wanted to string you along, if I just wanted to tell you what you wanted to hear, if I simply told you what you wanted to hear, then I think I would be doing you a disservice. And that's not something I'm interested in doing. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. You'll find a link to this article in the description section below. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I want you to know that I greatly, greatly appreciate you. The goal 
role of the Ignition Time channel is to give you the truth wherever it might lead us. Today seems to be an encouraging day. I'm going to continue to give you updates as they evolve. But I want you to know that this channel, the Ignition Time channel, is about the country, it's about the economy, and it's about your money. This is not just a stimulus updates channel. This is not just a channel to give you information on unemployment benefits. I have bigger goals, I have bigger aspirations for our viewers and subscribers. I want to lead you forward. I promise you, I will always tell you the truth wherever it might lead us. If I can, I will move mountains for you. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. This is some information about me. You'll learn more about who I am, what my journey has been like, and why you should listen to me. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time. That's 2 p.m. East Coast time, most days of the week. Now, I want you to know that for us, it's not about being a Democrat or a Republican. It's about being American. This channel is not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white, and blue. I want us to focus on helping each other. I want us to focus on what is best for our personal economy. And I think we can do that when we start to understand how the country works, how the economy works, and how our personal finances work. We need to understand how to make more money, how to save money, and then most importantly, how to invest money. That is what I will teach you on this channel. If you want to get breaking news and alerts from us, important information on what's happening in the world around us, important information on how to make sense of all the madness surrounding us, and important information on how to make more money, how to save money, and how to invest money, get your cell phone out, Send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000. That's 70000. You'll get added to our SMS alerts list. Now keep in mind that you can also get added to our email list. Simply go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts and you'll get added to our email alerts list moving forward. You'll get important news and information and if we ever release a coaching program or any kind of educational program, you'll be the first to get notified. No pressure and also you can opt out of the SMS or the email alerts at any time. So, you know, that's, that's entirely up to you. Now, also speaking of alerts, YouTube does not always send out notifications on time. Sometimes they get delayed. This of stuff happens. So all I'm asking you to do is simply bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. That's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. And then you can visit the home page of our channel and then check out any of our videos, any of our playlists at any point in time that you want. No pressure about that. So make sure you bookmark our channel. Now you can also follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. We release exclusive news and content specifically for our Instagram community. So make sure you follow us there. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is the same as the Instagram handle, ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. So follow us on, on Twitter as well. And you'll get breaking news and alerts from us on Twitter. One of the things I'm personally very proud of is not just the content on our channel, but the collective wisdom of our community. This is very important. The collective wisdom of our community. Comment below. You'll make some new friends. Our community is very intelligent, very respectful, very bipartisan. I welcome a healthy debate. I welcome both points of view as long as we are respectful and as long as we appreciate another person's perspective because then you can learn from other individuals. Uh, you know, ignorance is often uh, mixed in with anger, with frustration, with finger pointing. We here are, we are here to learn so we can improve our lives. So participate in the community. You'll make some new friends. Our community is intelligent. It's growing and it's bipartisan. So I think you'll benefit a lot. Also, please share this video with friends and family because that tells the YouTube algorithm that you found this content helpful. So please make sure you share the video as well. As always, you'll find a link in the resources section below, in the description section below with all, all our resources. So you can check out all our resources at any point in time that you want. So definitely check out the links in the description. Finally, finally, please click like, please subscribe, please ignite that notification button after you click subscribe. First click subscribe and then that little bell icon, just gently tap it and ignite the like button. Smash that screen. Oh no, 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 don't smash the screen. <laughs> I just I just like playing with that. I, I'm fortunate to have a phenomenal team of video editors that work with me, Joseph and Jeanette. I appreciate you. So I want you to know that uh, you should click like, please click subscribe, enable notifications. And then that would mean a lot to us. That tells the YouTube algorithm you found this content beneficial. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe. Bye.